Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Nintendo Gamer, and welcome back to some more Link to Between the Past Worlds. Bleh. In the last episode, we climbed Death Mountain, got the Power Glove. It's so bad! In today's episode, we're going into the Tower of Hera. Oh, these things. How I've missed these things. Oh, come on. I know I can reach it. Dink. Alright. Actually, we want to come over here, though, first. Because, if we merge here... You get yourself a chest of 50 rubies. How did I know that? I'm such a nerd. Okay, anyway. See, so yeah, this is. I think this might be the tallest dungeon. Because it has. 13 floors. Unlucky 13, haha. Excuse my finger here, guys. Just trying to get myself back to map floor 1. Oh, jeez. But yeah, this is going to be probably the tall. I think this is the tallest dungeon in the game. But it's not that bad. It actually goes by pretty quickly, despite it having 13 floors of doom. No, I'm kidding. Oh boy, these things. How I hated these things. Why do they give you knockback? I always hated that fact. And if you line your hammer time up perfectly, you can squish them. If they're like one hit away from death, if I remember correctly. There we go. Nice. And if we hop down here, we can get the compass. So now we can see everything right off the bat. Normally the compass isn't in the first room. But anyway, second floor and then bam, guys. Look, we're already up to the third floor now. So this is going to go by pretty quickly. Oh, geez. Mini Moldorm, I hate you. Stop spazzing, man. And we already have our first key. Nothing. Oh, man. Ah! Oh, I almost missed that. Die, you stupid crow. Anyway, now we're outside the tower here. That's the other thing I like about this game. Some dungeons, they actually have you going to the outside. So there you can see the entrance down there. That's what I like about this game. You get to see the outside and explore the outsides of dungeons as well. I believe this was in the, this was shown off as a trailer. That tower of hair was a tra was a demo level. That's cool. Alright, so we're gonna... Oh, no, that's right. I forgot. There's some hearts over here if you need them. I'm going to take one. Come on. Yes, I made it. Now we're on floor four. Oh, Stolfos. How I hate you. On the hard mode. Monster Guts. Yeah, I probably said this in a past episode, but yeah, you're going to really want to collect monster guts and uh, the horns and the tails. Because uh, it does, if you don't know how to get, if you're running low on rupees, you can just grind for those. Or if you've been saving up on a lot of them and don't feel like you should get the potions, you can sell them to the witch and she'll give you a butt ton of rupees for it. Blue rupee, wow. I should never tried this. Oh no, that's right. You can't go any further. The wall is broken. How about over here? Did they break the wall over here? Yes, they did. Alright, so, oh, let's continue on our man mandatory path. Out the window we go. Oh, I just missed, just barely made that. Alright, here we have to block these things. You can also block these things with your shield. I gotta say, oh geez, I really like the merging puzzles in this game. Alrighty. Eh, I don't think it's the end of the world that I missed those rupees. Hold on, wait a minute. Oh, what's this? Oh, I'll be darned. See, one, two, th one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that there were 40 rupees there. Nice. And I guess this will launch me back up. That's a nice little secret. Let's keep going. I don't think. Yeah, there's nothing else. Oh gosh. Eh. <laughs> now I gotta wait for this to charge up a little bit. That should be enough to get me around. That's neat. I didn't know about that area. I don't mind missing those rupees. Now we're already on floor six, guys. Jeez, and the Tower of Hair is going by so quickly. No. Oh, God. Stop screwing around with the spin attack. We're actually almost going to die. 
Oh yeah, you can also block bones. They don't say that, but you can block bones. Alright, good, good, good. This thing's huge. Up we go. And now we're on the seventh floor, guys. Remember these guys, too? Can't hurt these guys unless you flip them over. Now in this room, this room is kind of cool. In this room, you have to break the floor in certain spots to fall down and grab stuff. I think the key was on the other side. So if we actually hop here, this will break all the floor around there. I think the key was over here. Yeah, I see the thingy. Yep, there we go. Up we go. Oh, time that badly. I'm gonna get this chest here first. Nice, a silver roop. Dang, we're already over a thousand rupees. That was bad timing. Oh, you jerk bag. I wasn't even standing on him. Come on, launch me, please. Yes, there we go. Floor nine. Oh. Remember these guys? You can break them with your sword, or you can just hold up your shield. Now, if you fall down here, guys, you have a room full of fairies. But we already have a fairy in our bottle, so we're just going to take the loot from here. 50 roops. Anything else? Nope. And get full health off those fairies. Alright, let's ride this up now. Bam, 10th floor. We're already almost there, guys. Only two more floors. Or three more floors. I can count. Oh, stop booping and bopping me. Alright, here you want to hit all these switches. Alright. And then that'll lower so we can use it. Do 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 do. We all right. So now we have the dungeon room and the key. I'm not gonna make that. Oh, I did make it. Wow, that was lucky. So now we have the big key. There we go, guys. Now we're gonna go fight the boss. Alright, here we go guys, we're at the top of the tower. Hello, Muldorn. Long time no see. We have a classic rebattle with Muldorn, but I have to say, I am so happy. They made Muldorn my pushover in this game. Really, all you have to do is do a spin attack a couple times on his tail and he's done. Oh jeez, but he can still knock you off, but luckily knocking you off doesn't restart. Am I really gonna foop up on Moldorm? Jeez, come on. Fine, I won't try the spin attack. Oh gosh. Um, um. Wow! I didn't even die on Moldorm. I feel ashamed having to use a fairy here. Ah. Uh. Can I please hit him? Alright, hold on. There we go. Jeez, um, only one more hit. I feel so ashamed to have to use a fairy here. Wow. I feel terrible. Well, anyway. Here's our next heart container. So now we have, we have six hearts. So... And now, guys... We're going to be able to grab 
the pendant of power. It makes you feel, well, powerful. Hear me, Link! You have done well, my young hero. You acquired the pendant of wisdom, then the pendant of power. Now that you have all three pendants of virtue, you have proven yourself worthy of the Master Sword. You will find the blade deep within the Lost Woods. Go now! Claim what is rightfully yours! So next time, guys, on The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds, we're going to be going to the Lost Woods to claim the Master Sword. I'll see you guys then. Bye!